Ça va, tout se passe bien, messieurs dames. Merci. Vous désirez autre chose Je vous débarrasse. Très bien. Voilà. Je vous en prie. Désolé. Excusez-moi. C'est libre. Merci. De rien. Do they sell orange juice here? Uh, yeah, I would, I would think so, yeah. Fancy an orange juice. And I think I'm going to get one. Do you want one? Uh, no, thank you. How did you know I speak English? Your magazine. It's in English. <laughs> right. I thought it might be my French accent. No. No, your French accent's amazing. It's perfect. I'm sorry if you thought me noticing your magazine were an invasion of your privacy or something. What? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So I'm very observant. Yeah, I'm, I'm a very, um, very good people watcher. Yeah, I notice all sorts of things about people, me. Sometimes things people haven't noticed themselves. Have you uh, been in Marseille long? Oh, I'm sorry. You were enjoying your magazine and I'm intruding. It's just that I don't speak French, so you're the first person since I got here I've been able to talk to. Don't worry about it. I, I know that feeling. Uh, I'm Colin. Nice to meet you, Colin. I'm, I'm sorry your name was? Guess. You want me to guess? Yeah, go on, guess me now. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, we'd be here all bloody day, wouldn't we? I'm, uh, I'm George. I shouldn't be all like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all right. I think I'm just out of practice with the um, with the English sense of humour. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Twelve years to answer your question. That's how long I've been here. Wow. That is a long time. How come so long then? you got family here, have you? No. Um, I met a French girl and I, I fell in love with her and followed her here. We got married. Uh, then we got divorced. And I don't know, I just I just stuck around. You're not running from something, then? Excuse me? Well, my dad always used to say that all expats are running from something. You don't leave the troubles behind, start a new life, that kind of thing. No, not running from anything. As I said, uh, I married a French girl. She was from Marseille. Right. Yeah. But you didn't want to move back to Ireland? Um, it's, it's not that I, I didn't want to. I just, uh, there was not, there was nothing really there pulling me back. Yeah. And I, I like it here. So uh, what about you, George? Are you running from something? No. I don't run away from my problems. They always find you, no matter how far you go. <laughs> I'm being intense again, aren't I? I uh, that's a bad habit of mine, that. Whereabouts are you from, then? Dublin. Yeah, and you? Todmorden. It's a tiny little place. I know Todmorden. Really? Yeah. I used to live there, actually. No way. <laughs> what are the chances, eh? When, when were that? A long, long time ago now. And when I say live there, I mean, I, I spent a few summers there staying at my nan's. Oh, right. What were her name? <sighs> she died when I was 18. And that's 22 years ago now. So, I mean, I'm guessing you were very young. Four. Still. What were her name? Doreen Gannon. No. Don't ring a bell. Yeah, as I said, you were probably too young to remember. Yeah, I guess so. But Tubman is a small place. I mean, keep trying. All right. 
Um, let's see. Well, my best mate at the time was Paul Gleason. Tall guy, skinny, curly black hair. No way. Yep. Yeah, I knew Paul. Yeah, he used to actually go at my sister. What was your sister's name? Lucy. Lucy McKay? Yeah. No, shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, that, is, that is so weird. Wow, Lucy McKay. Oh, wow. You know I think I've been in your house. Um, in your mum and dad's house. Did you have a spiral staircase, a wooden spiral staircase? Yeah, my dad built that. <laughs> That's crazy. I've been in your house. <laughs> wow. Lucy McKay, the three of us had a party back there one night. Um, Paul, well, he kind of crashed out as soon as we got in the door, but me and Lucy stayed up all night drinking your dad's whiskey cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Lucy had a baby brother. Was that you? Must have been. <laughs> that is, how weird is that? That, that we've already met? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, um, that was some night. Wow. Lucy McKay. Oh, she was great, man. How's she doing? Not too good. She's dead. I don't know. Um, when did this happen? Long time ago. Well, um, how, if you don't mind me asking? No, I don't mind. She killed herself. Désolé, c'est la folie aujourd'hui. Alors, le jus d'orange, c'est pour? Uh, mais, moi. Ah, mais. Voilà, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. Mm. Lucy killed herself. Uh, why? After the miscarriage. Miscarriage? Lucy was pregnant? Yeah. Yeah, the father left her as soon as he'd filled her belly. And then she miscarried. Well, the baby was born premature, but it was dead. And she never really recovered from that. Fell into a depression. I think it were all a bit too much for her, you know? Because she loved this bloke. And then he left her. And the baby died. And her mind just sort of broke. And then one day, there she were. Hanged herself in her room. Jesus. How long ago was this? December 20... Well... The miscarriage were May 6th, 1998, and um, we found her dead December 21st, 1998. And what about the father? What about him? Who was he? Well, for a long time, we all just assumed it were Paul because he was a boyfriend, and you know, they broke up about that time, he moved to Leeds. Well, see, I don't think it was Paul. No? No. Why not? Because Paul would have closet homosexual. Yeah. And I don't think they ever would have consummated their relationship, if you can call it a relationship. I think she were only with him to help him stay in the closet, you know, it's a small town and all that, you know. How do you know Paul was gay? Well, that's what Lucy's daddy said. Diary. Yeah. I suppose she could have made it up, but that's not what Lucy was like. She was kind. To a fault, I'd say. You know, I say this like I know her, but she died before I really got the chance. And I say we could ask Paul, but well, we can't, can we? Because you heard about what happened. Yeah. yeah. My dad said. If he ever caught the guy that did it, he'd kill him. Oh? Yeah. But it's a bit late for that, because he died last year and all. Oh. Yeah. So I guess the responsibility has been passed on down to me.
What if the guy knew nothing about any of this? Even if he didn't, he still released his seed inside of her, didn't he? Treat her like a... What kind of a person does that and thinks new of it? And even if you're right, he had no idea. That was the case, you know. Actions have consequences, don't they? And the damage has been done, whole family's been torn apart. I mean, you still go to prison for manslaughter when you didn't mean to commit the crime, don't you? <laughs> well, see, I reckon he did know. And he just didn't care enough to want to stay with her. Either way, there still needs to be justice. <sighs> Sorry. Look at me waffling, I'm bringing you down, eh? I'll let you finish your coffee. But I enjoyed that. I think I'm gonna come here again. Crazy to bump into each other like this, eh, Colin? But maybe we'll cross paths again, eh? Till next time.